Hey there, I said I would be in touch soon with a market update and here I am in touch with you with a market update. So I know everyone knows that uh, interest rates have been rising and they rose again uh, yesterday. Depending on where you're looking, interest rates are anywhere between five and a half to six percent um, on average and uh, mortgage applications are down tremendously due to the rise in interest rates. You would think that this would have a huge impact on what's happening with sales in real estate, but here in Central Florida, we have a market that is still moving swiftly. Part of the reason, or a number of reasons for that, are the state of Florida is a very popular place to move to has always been and will always be because of the climate, the low taxes, the cost of living is lower than other parts of the country. Uh, another reason for that is because um, inventory is still extremely low. Although we've had an influx of listings um, coming to the market in the past month or so, we still have less than a month's worth of inventory in many markets normally uh, a balanced market typically is six months worth of in inventory so when you've got less than a month's worth of inventory in the market which means that if every house listed in MLS was sold it would happen in less than a month and uh, that's 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 really low and we are still seeing lots of folks looking lots of folks purchasing Multiple offers are decreasing. There still are multiple offers, but we're not seeing as many multiple offers on homes. And another thing that we are seeing is price reductions on listings. Uh, you know, previously, folks were listing their homes at outrageous pricing and in many cases getting it. Uh, right now, we're seeing that there's some pushback on that. Buyers are willing to still pay, you know, top dollar for homes, but they're not going to pay exorbitant prices for homes in this market any longer. So that's where part of the shift is starting to happen. Um, other parts of the country are feeling it a little more intensely than we are. And I do believe that although the market is going to slow some, it's not going to drag and it's not going to have a huge impact here in Central Florida. What a lot of folks are anticipating and, and I agree with is that these huge increases in value are going to start slowing down and becoming a little less, you know, we're not going to see prices declining but we are gonna see a slowdown in those increases in value, which will be beneficial to buyers because um, you know, folks buying right now, a lot have been priced out of the market, uh, especially first time buyers, first time buyers competing, not only with people that are um, moving down or, or downsizing, they're also competing with uh, these, these Wall Street companies and these big corporations that are coming in, buying houses for cash, and renting them out. Uh, a lot of neighborhoods um, have been impacted by that. A lot of buyers have lost hope in, in being able to buy their first home because these, these conglomos are coming out and uh, you know buying homes like candy and putting them on the market and, and uh, taking home ownership opportunities away from, uh, from people that are very well deserving and have worked hard and saved hard to be able to do that. So that is where we are with the market at the moment. I will be in touch again soon and uh, give you another update. I am Lisa Jones with Vantage Point Realty. If you have any questions about the market, interested in buying or selling or, or want to know what's happening and uh, want to discuss things, I am here to talk with you. I am here to help and I am very happy to do that. I hope you have a wonderful day. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and thanks for tuning in. Bye.